Okay, hi all, uh, thank you for coming. My name is Peter Augusta. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Kasambi North America. Today we are going to uh, talk to you a bit about who Kasambi is, and then we're going to jump into some small or some recent projects, uh, a small remodel, a retrofit program, and a large new build. Uh, this will give you a really good glimpse of, of what Kasambi can offer to you and how you could use us in different types of scenarios. I think it's a really good overall view. But again, today is really about just giving you a glimpse into Kasambi, introducing you to Kasambi, and uh, hopefully then um, you'll uh, contact us directly or you know, perhaps just uh, go to our website and learn some more. So to start, Kasambi's uh, headquartered in Finland. <clears throat> Excuse me. We were founded in 2011 by pioneers of the Bluetooth industry. Coming from Nokia, where they uh, where Bluetooth was originated, our founders uh, had a tremendous amount of experience in technology. But they thought that the Bluetooth technology was underutilized, and they set out to make a new kind of lighting control system using Bluetooth mesh. Now, ten years later. Kasambi is uh, known as being the most robust, proven technology um, uh, in the market. Uh, we have over uh, 65,000 installations worldwide, ranging in size and shape from small to, uh, to, to large and really everything in between. Uh, and I think even most uh, notable is, is that we've got close to 2 million individual uh, addressable nodes out in the marketplace already and we're delivering at a rate of 60,000 units plus per month. That's just getting faster and faster. One of the um, things that I think says the most about um, success is the partners that choose from you, that choose to use your technology. Uh, this is just a subset of those types of partners that are out there and it's made up of uh, as you can see in here, uh, lighting manufacturers, it's made up of um, driver manufacturers, sensor manufacturers, wall switch manufacturers, and other types of devices that could be used and controlled. But again, uh, this many partners that, that are basing their wireless strategies on Kasambi, I think is, uh, is a really good testament to just how strong uh, Kasambi is in the market. And because of the amount of partners that we have, it's interesting that, you know, then you have really kind of complete control and freedom to choose what it is that you want to use in your environment. And you also have the knowledge that because it's all based on Kasambi, everything that you do use, everything that you choose is 100% operable with the other pieces of, of, of the control system. So all of the different partners that are choosing to use us are 100% interoperable with the other ones. Um, most people are choosing us because we're because uh, we're very fast and easy to um, to install and to operate. But from your perspective as a designer, there's also a component that um, we're incredibly easy to specify. We're incredibly easy and you know fast for you. You don't have to spend a lot of time trying to figure out hey what's the precise wiring diagram that needs to be done. I know that's usually done by the electrical engineers, but there's a lot of back and forth in that process. With us being wireless, that all just goes away. 
So basically no wires, there's no hassles um, and all the configurations up front or the reconfigurations after the fact can be done in the software. We don't have to worry about being invasive and running wires in all sorts of different locations and so on. In addition, the number of partners that we have, the number of um, nodes that we've delivered, the 65,000 installations that we've got out there, we've created a very stable and secure environment. So you know that, that when you do put us into an environment, you're putting a best of breed solution out there that will do what it is supposed to do. Now we've said simplicity quite often. Um, yes, this is an incredibly easy system to use. It is an incredibly easy system to install, but that does not mean that we're simplistic in what we deliver. The system itself is very powerful. So all of the different, different features and functions that you would expect in a traditional system exist in this. And as a matter of fact, because we get down to the granular level, the luminaire level control, we can give a lot more feature and functionality than that of a traditional wired solution. Things that you would expect, such as you know, zone controls or groupings, absolutely with us. Um, scenes, scenes can be, can be made at the luminaire level. It could be night scenes, day scenes in a restaurant, all sorts of different things really based on your creativity. Uh, light color, absolutely, RGB um, white, no problems. Uh, motion sensors, um, different types of, of control gear, switches and so on can be used with our system. You don't just have to use an application. Uh, more advanced features, circadian rhythm adaptive lighting. Absolutely, this is part of the base of our system. It is very easy to set up a system, a uh, circadian system with us. Uh, color temperature control, uh, as we've said with circadian, that's the base of it. But but individually, yes, you can do white color temperature control as well. Uh, we also have a GPS um, anatom or astronomical clock. So you can do sunrise to sunset lighting, calendar, timers, all sorts of different types of features. Again, incredibly feature rich. Um, one other thing that we have that's notable is, is uh, an API, an open API, so we can connect outbound to other types of systems. Building management systems, software systems, who knows what you're going to get into in any environment. We do have an open way to integrate to other types of systems. So again, to sum it up, very, very powerful. Um, you have no limitations as to what you can do with ours. So now projects. Uh, Remember, we had said we've chosen three different projects for you. So we've got a smaller project, a medium-sized project, which is retrofit, and then a whole new build. The first one that we'll talk about is the uh, Las Flores restaurant in uh, Antigua, Guatemala. Um, as you can see, uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, building, um, stone walls. Uh, you can imagine a very harsh environment to try and run wires in. Uh, the building itself was built in 1800, uh, which means that it was uh, part of a historical society building. Um, it means, again, no modifications are allowed in this building. So we were chosen in this environment specifically because it's a, uh, a we are a non-invasive installation. It's a simple use of these little modules that you see here down on the bottom. Um, connected to the light fixtures that will create the uh, Bluetooth mesh network. As you can see, I'm holding one of these up. It's about as big as a matchbox, a very small device that can clip onto any light fixture. All we need to do is run power to this device. And then from that point on, Bluetooth will connect to our application or to switches and to sensors. In this environment, it was incredibly simplistic in that it was only 12 nodes, um, so 12 lighting features that were being controlled and a single four button switch. So all the control itself was manual and um, either done by the application or by this four button switch. So an example of an incredibly small environment certainly has its challenges with the stone walls and the historic um, building. 
uh, but it shows you that we can be used in, in, in a really um, um, uh, small environment. The next one is the BBC offices. So the BBC, again, a very recognizable name, a larger project. Uh, these were um, eight buildings all around the UK. It's a total of 15,000 Kasambi nodes being used uh, in conjunction with each one of the uh, light fixtures, uh, which translates to about 2,000 per, per location. We are again chosen because of the ease of installation and that we are a low cost installation for this environment. Now they already had existing LED lighting um, and they got a incredible savings out of uh, energy savings from just switching from traditional lighting to LED lighting, as we all know, but they wanted to increase that. They wanted to um, be able to use their lighting in different ways. And then uh, for that, they needed to have a control system. But since they were in an environment that was already built, they wanted to retrofit something in that was, again, not invasive, didn't require the running of a bunch of wires, uh, and we were um, that solution for them. Again, in this case, we used these types of modules. Um, these modules were um, taken by the electricians. The electricians just uh, put these on the primary side of the drivers and they made connections into, uh, uh, into our application um, or switches and or sensors that were used in this environment as well. Now you can see there are three different modules represented down here on the bottom, and that's because they had different types of lighting control requirements. Uh, one was um, dolly, one was um, uh, just simple phase, uh, and this is representative of a PWM module, a low voltage module, which usually goes to you know linear low voltage strips. And the last installation that we'll talk about is a much larger project. It's the uh, Ulster Hospital in Belfast, Ireland. Uh, this was a new build from day one. Uh, more than 10,000 Kasambi nodes, I think it's actually up over 12,000 at this point, were used. Now those nodes consist of lighting, they consist of sensors, and they consist of, um, of switches. So all the different addressable locations that we needed to control. We did the lighting completely inside and outside of this building. And we used a hierarchy of control, um, such as scheduled time controls, sensor controls, and manual controls. In addition, we connected outside to a software um, a number of different softwares, whether it was building management or, or, um, or softwares back at the nurse's station to send commands based on, um, based on sensors that were being um, tripped at a particular time. So to give you an example of how all of this works, we'll talk about just at the room level. Uh, of course, the room has manual switches in different locations, so doctors and nurses can, can turn on and off lights, specific lights as they need. Uh, but we did have sensors in these um, in and around the rooms as well. So a time-based trigger um, where a uh, patient gets up, maybe swings their legs over the side of the bed, there's a sensor underneath the bed. So in the middle of the afternoon, let's say at 3 p.m., that indicates that this person is up. The sensor then says, hey, to the, to the um, nurse's station, uh, this person in room 301 is up. Um, the nurse might want to go check on them, make sure that everything is OK. However, that same action, let's say at 3 a.m., will give us both the ability to, one, send the message over to the nurse's station. 3 a.m. in the morning, this person is up, you better go check on them. But two, it also turns on the lighting underneath the bed at a low intensity. Uh, so that way, when the person does get up, they're not 
jolted awake by turning on all of the lights. They just have the lighting coming on underneath the bed at a glow. It won't wake them up completely, but it will give them light to see by. And again, at 3 a.m. in the morning when somebody gets up, we're assuming they're probably going over to the bathroom uh, to use the facilities. So at this point, we can also turn on the lighting at a low intensity in the uh, bathroom. That way they are guided over there and it makes their um, makes the journey you know, easier. They don't have to worry about tripping, running into anything. So, uh, you know, a lot of other different things that are happening in this environment, but I think that's a good glimpse as to what we can do in a very large environment, um, not only with, with sensors, with manual control, but then also with the capabilities of connecting to third party systems. So that's basically just a look at what we do. Um, I hope that you'll go out to our website, check out more about Kasambi. It's kasambi.com. Uh, and then if you have any specific questions, you have our contact information here. Uh, you can reach out by email um, and uh, we would uh, be happy to you know, get into a conversation with you, teach you more about uh, what we do and also introduce you to our different partners in the different areas where you're, where you're from. I thank you for your time.